Looky there. We're out on a beautiful day doing a little bit of detecting and I found a few coins. Oops. Here, focus. And I uh, found my first ring. This looks like it's just a kid's ring though. It feels awfully light. See any markings in there? I'm not seeing anything. Yep, I think we just got ourselves an aluminum kid's ring, but uh, we rescued it. Hey, I got my first Wheatie of the day. This is a 1942. Let me show it to you here. Let's see if we can get it a really nice shot. Not bad. I'm going to call this area the wheat fields. I'm in an area for off of a school. There's a hill here and a fence and I'm checking out this big field area to see what might be around here and uh, mostly I found a lot of junk but got a wheat penny we'll we'll take that got me another one for you Hoover Boys fans out there it's a 1944 and you know what that means <laughs> love it got me another kids ring this one is beat up too it's got like a rubber or plastic outside edge and it's just chewed up it was ringing up more like a, a dime or something wasn't expecting to find this nothing special but uh, thought I'd show it okay this signal was ringing up just like a wheat penny so we're gonna find out if it is Right down in, right down in there. Oh, there's something. And what do we got? I can't see it. I think it's a dime. Yeah, it's a dime. <laughs> I'll be dang. Okay, uh, we'll take it, but that was coming up just like a wheat, wheat penny. Freaky. Must be something else in the hole with it, maybe obscuring it. Okay, we're going to try this again. This was coming up like a wheat penny. See? Ugh. That is rocky soil. It's really... Really hard to break up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's this. It's just a piece of junk. Oh, man. I keep jinxing myself. We are in a totally new area today. And barely an inch down, we find this. That is cool. It was ringing up uh, 50s. We'll have to clean it up a little bit and see what we got. That could have some gold content. Let's find out. Haven't been finding a whole lot in this area that's uh, worthwhile. There's a lot of trash. I did just find a wheat penny though. You can barely see it. It's... Let me get it cleaned up and see if we can get a date off of it here. Before it dries up. Looks like it's been hit with something there, and it's, there's a lot of crust on that. I can't make out what that says on the date there. So uh, I'll wait till I get it home and clean it up a little bit more and see if I can get some off of it. That's different. I uh, I think this is from a car. Not 100% certain. Uh, there's glass in it. I hate to rub on it too hard without my gloves on. I, I, I did have them on, but I'm going to wait and uh, clean this up a little bit better when I got better spot to clean it and uh, see what this is. But <laughs> that sucker came out of the ground and I'm like, holy cow, what is that? Hey, I got me a new car. Check it out. It's a nice one too.
<laughs> Cute. We'll take it. So here's the weekend's finds. Yeah, just kidding. Uh, this, I just wanted to show a little bit of this. This was just from the day. I dug a ton of bottle caps and uh, pull tabs and stuff. And um, if if I wanted to start a uh, collection, this would have been a good weekend for it. I wish I had one of those Stella Artois right there. I like those things. Couldn't find one of those with the rest of the beer still in it. So let's show you what I did get. So here I am. Got my new Hoover Boy shirt on, the Hoover Boys. Um, got a full belly, because I was hungry, and got some sore legs. I find that if I don't go metal detecting every week, um, and I haven't been able to go for a couple of weeks, it's like my legs all of a sudden forget how that memory thing worked there. My, I get really sore legs after a couple of days digging, and I had I got some really sore legs. Let me show you what I got, though. It's um, nothing spectacular this weekend. It was one of those weekends, but I got a couple of interesting things. So there's my Hall O stuff. Some crusty zinc pennies. Some garbage. Got me a Ferrari. Check that out. It's got one wheel that's a little bit wonky, but um, it's a Ferrari. Parts of another car. A key! I'm glad I found this. Oh, there was some wet still in that Ferrari. Um, I usually find a lot of keys and I haven't found any lately, so I thought I was losing my touch. Uh, button. I don't know what the heck this is. I thought it was a ring when I first saw it because this was squished in a lot tighter. It was coiled tighter. I have no idea. I uh, don't know what this is either. Um, I know better than to try to straighten it out. It looks like a seal of some sort, like a little copper gasket of some sort. Part of an earbud. I thought that was a button. Uh, found me a, like a roller skate bearing. It won't turn. I can't figure out why not. <laughs> yeah, actually I can. Um, this is, you remember the school lockers? Where you had the little decorative, like art deco thing with your number right in the middle of it. That's what that is. So this is from whenever the art deco period was most likely. Like 50s or 60s I think. Um, I think this is a lipstick tube. I'm not 100% certain. I'm going to skip over this for a second. I have no idea what this big sucker is. It's uh, hex shaped on the bottom almost like it's designed for a wrench. It's all aluminum though, and it's knurled. It looks like it's had some use too, but I don't know what it is. Um, this I thought might have been a car emblem at first, but it looks like maybe it was a mirror. Um, it has a glass in it and the, the mirroring is obviously gone, but I can't think of anything else that would be. Uh, maybe off of a motorcycle or something. Don't know. Um, back to this. This is a cool find, actually. Oh, I just messed up everything. Not too bad. This is a uh, part of a watch. This, um, I was able to get some information off of the back of it here, if you see right there. That says, um, Wortham AWW Co. Or you can see the C, but not the, the O and the uh, AWW Co. And it says 17 jewels. I can see it right there, right in the middle of the screen. Um, this is, and I'll try to put some pictures of this up so you can see it. If you look on the side, um, where'd it go? Right there. That's where the winding stem would have gone. And it's on the side. This would have been the bottom. This is part of the porcelain dial. This is called a Sidewinder watch. Uh, the Wortham Company made pocket watches from 1851 to 1957. I think this is an, a later example. I wish it was in better shape, but like I said, I've got some pictures I'll put up uh, that I found that shows exactly what this would have looked like when it was new. And uh, I found an example of one on eBay for 80 bucks. So. Nothing super spectacular, but really cool that I was able to trace it down. Got some quarters, only a couple of nickels, some dimes, some pennies. Uh, only four of them were before the 70s. 
uh, 62 being the oldest, except for these. I got me a 44 Wheatie, a 42 Wheatie, and a 34 that was actually in, it's pretty beat up. I mean, you look at that thing, you can see in the right light Lincoln's profile, but not a whole lot else. I mean, this thing's seen some uh, better days. Kids rings. And this, when I was, you get the back of my hand. When I was out in the sunlight, this looked like it had a gold tint to it, but um, I don't know, it must have been my eyes playing tricks on me. It doesn't. Um, it's just a little piece of aluminum uh, or something similar, costume jewelry. Pretty cool, though. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this would be like a great charm if you were in a Slytherin house. And yes, I am a Harry Potter fan. But I am not a Slytherin, so I can't use this. Um, actually, I was, when I did the Pottermore test, I got sorted into Ravenclaw. So there. So that's it. That's the finds for the weekend. It's nothing fancy. Fairly quick video, I think this is going to be. So happy hunting. Talk to you guys later. Uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and uh, share this so I can reach more people. Show me what you guys are hunting. If you have any videos out there, post links in here. I will um, allow you to post links to your videos and your site. I want to see what you guys are getting. So show me what you're getting. And um, happy hunting. Talk to you guys later.